General Robert Cohn, Commanding General for the United States Army Training and Doctrine Command, and Brigadier General Mark Stammer, 101st Airborne Division Air Assault and Fort Campbell Senior Mission Commander, joined members of the Intrepid Fallen Heroes Fund at a groundbreaking ceremony at Fort Campbell today. This event marked the start of construction for the third in a series of nine National Intrepid Center of Excellence, or NICO, satellite centers to be built near military treatment facilities on military installations and bases across the country. These centers are designed to diagnose and treat traumatic brain injury, or TBI, and post-traumatic stress, or PTS. When completed, the Fort Campbell Satellite Center will be named Intrepid Spirit 3 and will provide the most advanced diagnosis and treatment protocols for wounded, injured, and ill military heroes. This center represents America's dedication to providing first-class treatment for troops who may be suffering combat-related stress and mental illness. You have provided our wounded heroes what they often lack in wars gone by, a chance for a full recovery. Finally, I think the groundbreaking today and the promise of this center represent something much larger than the care of our soldiers. Look at some of the warriors who have joined us today. Staff Sergeant Don Maurice is an inspirational story of recovery. Him, Sergeant First Class Ranker, Sergeant Kane, as well as others, are standard bearers of overcoming the challenges of traumatic brain injury and post-traumatic stress. In the end, what we start here today is symbolic of what is right in America. A coalition of the caring saw soldiers and rallied to the cause. Across our nation, people replicate their efforts. From Washington to Georgia to Kentucky, you see the breadth of outreach from our nation to its veterans. Today's groundbreaking comes one year after the Intrepid Fallen Heroes Fund broke ground on the first two centers, built at Camp Lejeune, North Carolina, and Fort Belvoir, Virginia. All of the centers are funded and built by the Intrepid Fallen Heroes Fund and the American people, offering convenient locations for service members to receive TBI and PTS medical services without having to separate them from their units or leave their families for extended periods of time. I better, but I will always be affected by my war injury, but I go and educated me and my wife, gave me hope, made me believe that I had a chance to improve, gave me the tools to make my symptoms more manageable, and most importantly, showed me that there was real damage to my brain. There was a legitimate reason for my total change of personality. I was not just imagining my symptoms and problems. 300 plus thousand are afflicted in some shape or fashion across all our services. Uh, with either mild TBI or PTS, it ends up being PTSD. Uh, these are our men and women who answered a call of duty after 9-11. They answered a call of duty to support and defend, but more importantly, to defend America on foreign soil. And since that time, it's now our lo longest war, over 12 and a half years, and over almost 2 million have donned this cloth of our nation. Today's groundbreaking, really, uh, for this NICO satellite Intrepid Spirit 3 is really another payment to our national debt. Not the national debt you read about. The national debt that the American people and we all owe to our wounded warriors. And we cannot forget them. Each of the NICO satellite centers is 25,000 square feet and cost $11 million to construct and equip with the latest in brain technology and medical devices. The Intrepid Spirit III is scheduled to be completed and gifted to the Department of Defense in the summer of 2014. The National Intrepid Center of Excellence satellite, Intrepid Spirit III, will allow our dedicated multidisciplinary team to provide interdisciplinary, holistic, warrior and family-centered care to patients with complex needs while contributing to and supporting research and education by connecting with other such centers and the National Intrepid Center of Excellence in Bethesda, Maryland. The Intrepid Fallen Heroes Fund and the American people are equipping us with the National Intrepid Center of Excellence Satellite Center, the Intrepid Spirit III, to provide more extensive traumatic brain injury and post-traumatic stress disorder services to our Fort Campbell soldiers and our families. As we break ground today, we will always remember the remarkable giving spirit of the American people and the unparalleled devotion of the intrepid fallen heroes team making this center possible. Well, I think we've learned a lot in the last 12 years. And, and again, it is a commitment uh, from the time of pre-deployment, just as we prepare soldiers to go to combat, 
we need to prepare them for the reality of the likelihood that they're going to be injured in some way, whether it be physical or through, through traumatic brain injury. So we're redoubling our effort as an Army uh, to focus on these resiliency programs. The key point that uh, General Cody made is the fundamental recognition that it's okay, that the fact of the matter is these are great soldiers. Uh, they served us, and now it's time for us to serve them with programs like this, ensuring that we are taking care of them for the things and the sacrifices that they've made for our army.